I have no idea what the hell everybody's talking about. You just going to start taking a bath while I'm talking to you? Do your thing, man. Anyway, there's no batteries in this motherfucker. What is everybody talking about? No remote controls. No nothing. But they keep saying this son of a bitch moving. I don't see shit. We're going to fix that. Won't be moving no more. Hey. Hey, you heard anything I just said? I gotta do this for your own good, man. Because you are fucking up the show, Charles Lee Ray. And this time your ass won't be moving. <laughs> now I'll let them talk about you moving now. <clears throat> there. Now I try to move. That fix that. Fighting. It's all I've done since I left home. I've killed brothers of the Night's Watch. I've killed wildlings. I've killed men that I admire. I hanged a boy younger than Bran. Last time on Game of Thrones. R.I.P. Gangster Grandma. Love you. Gangster Grandma! We're out like a motherfucking boss! You're wilding. Is this you trying to get back at me, boy? Bringing a wildling to my dinner table. And making me dine with it? Hey. I never imagined, man. Some actors can be so good at their roles. Give you chills down your spine. He is good at his role. But in real life, sweetheart. Very kind, very generous. For actors to do cameos, for fans, it's um, 
It's amazing, man. It's amazing. Danny Banana, thank you for that, though. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's my surprise gift from Danny Banana, uh, James Faulkner. He was the actor that played Randall Tarley on the Game of Thrones, Sam's father. Um, Y'all need to check that out. Uh, great man. Great man. Game of Thrones! Season 7, Episode 4. Now, you know, this is going to be a two-part. Now, this is kind of early for a two-part. I usually do it like at the last episode or the last two episodes. But everybody keeps saying this is off the chain, so it got to be a two-part. You know what I'm saying? Just stretch it out, make it fun. So we're going to do it a two-part and see what's up. But anyway, let's get to this. Let's do this. This you trying to get back at me, boy? Bringing a wilding to my dinner table and making me dine with it? And lots of gold. You just won the biggest prize in the world. What could you possibly have to be upset about? I'll save my confessions for the high scepter. There is no more high scepter. No. Gangster grandma. The front of the Blackwater, formerly of whatever name a shit keep you're from, with a saddlebag full of gold, complaining about not getting paid. When we win this war, all the castles in the Seven Kingdoms will be yours to choose from, with no one left to take them away from you. And loaded into wagons, by the way. And look tall! Teams of men collecting it. More the farms in the Oh, he's my favorite character now. When you accompany the time, for obvious reasons. Mr. Williams, I believe I'm addressing, in fact, Lord Williams of South Carolina. I always considered your father a very effective and efficient man, but you appear to be redefining those terms entirely. You're too kind, my the gold is on its way. My brother is supervising its transportation himself. Some of the iron bank will be disappointed. They grow rather fond of your interest rates. We must devise a way to raise their spirits. Yes, perhaps we could be of assistance since. Rest assured, Your Grace, you can count on the iron bank's support. Uh, as soon as the gold arrives. The other dagger. Brand can see in the future and in the past and all that shit. So he know he a goddamn weasel. Never could have. Wasn't there for her when she needed me most. But I am here for her now. I imagine you've seen things most men would believe. Oh, he's seen things, motherfucker. You see you a slimy piece of shit. Go through all of that and make your way home again only to find such chaos in the world. And only imagine chaos is a lad. What do you say? You say you don't just tell me to do I'm not old, sir. Master Walton built it for me, so I can move around more easily. It's a very good idea. You're leaving? I don't want to leave you. When... When they come, I need to be with my family. You're safe. As safe as anyone can be now. You don't need me anymore. No, I don't. Damn! That's all you've got to say. Damn! Thank you. Damn! 
Damn, cuz! So help you. My brother died for you. Damn! Hodor and Summer died for you. I almost died for you. Damn. I'm not really. You talk like a pimp. All right. You know what to do it. I remember That's cold, man. Brandon, Brandon a pimp. Damn. Damn. You died in the cave. Make that girl cry like that. God damn. Motherfucker. Damn. Damn. Let's fuck off. Mm. They got two clowns guarding the door. The lady of Winterfell. Lady Stark. Which Lady Stark? You tell us. You're the one impersonating her sister. What a fucking clown. Tell Sansa her sister's home. Fucking dumbass. I'm getting into this castle one way or another. If I'm not who I say I am, I won't last long. But if I am, and Sansa finds out you turn me away. Yeah, dipshit. Everything change, ain't it, baby girl? Everything don't change. Everything don't change, baby girl. I'm gonna whip you right in the fucking face. Fucking beavers like and butthead. <coughs> you tell, you tell. Yeah, yeah, you dumbass, you gone. Beavers and butthead. We told this away. You were standing right next to her. When we turned around, she got my lady. She, she was nothing. Some winter town girl. She comes in asking for uh, Sir Roderick Trick, and yeah. Mr. Lewin. Lewin yeah. And, uh, and uh, don't, don't trouble yourself over it, my lady. We'll, we'll, we'll find her. You don't have to. You know where she is. She knows where she is. She knows where she is. Oh, shit. Do I have to call you Lady Stark now? Yes. All this time. All this goddamn time. You shouldn't have run from the guards. I didn't run. You need better guards. You got damn right. How the fuck you hire beavers and butthead? Ned. It doesn't look like him. Should have been caught by someone who knew his face. You know, I, I said the same thing. His face is dead. Why not? Damn right. They say you killed Joffrey. Did you? Wish I had. Gangsta grandma, baby girl. Me too. Gangsta grandma. I was angry when I heard someone else had done it. However long my list got, he was always first. Your list? Of people I'm going to kill. Oh, she thinks she. Oh, she thinks she bullshitting. How did she get back to me? She's stopped? changed, baby. Small story. I imagine yours is too. She don't know that yet. That's very pleasant. She. Well, she'll either. find out though. But our stories aren't over yet. Oh God. No. This motherfucker alive for real. Home to you. Oh shit, you got three starts. Oh, she telling him it. He ain't the same. He's a three eyed raven. He don't went batshit crazy. I saw you at the crossroads. 
You saw me. I see quite a lot now. So I see some her list of names. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, you take us serious now, don't you? Who else is on your list? Most of them are dead already. Why would a cutthroat have a Valyrian steel dagger? Someone very wealthy wanted to be dead. He's not a generous man. He wouldn't give you anything unless he thought he was getting something back. You got that shit right. She don't figure his ass right. out. Are you sure? It's Valyrian steel. It's wasted on a cripple. Many things. Many, many, many things. Many things. Yeah, baby girl. Of God damn, John. They were about to get into it. They were about to, you know, go a little deep in, in the yams. I want to get a seat before we start hacking it to bits. Children of the forest may have What? That's some badass kids. A very long time ago. They were here together. The children of the first man. Damn. Oh shit. Fighting each other. Against their common enemy. Oh! Despite their differences. God damn. Their Fucking crackheads been around forever. Together. I told you it's hard to get rid of them we goddamn crackheads. Hard as hell to get rid of. You want to tell him how his drug abuse has hurt you, maybe hurt himself. Okay, uh, Harold, what time did you tell him to be here? Five o'clock, but he's always late. No, he'll be here. In three, two, one. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? Because the enemy is real. Damn right, crackhead is real. Real as a motherfucker. And you say you can't defeat them without my arms and my dragons. No, I don't think I can. I will fight for you. I will fight for the North. Y'all getting a little too damn close. Bend the knee. What did she say? Did she say she want people. him to bend his knees now in the cave? Baby Draw, you freaky as hell. They will if they came to us. We chose you to lead them. We chose you to protect them. She picking a hell of a time for him to bend the knees. Isn't that surviving in a dark ass come. cave? What King Crackhead carved on the wall. What is it? We took us to the rock. That's very good to hear. Isn't it? They've been taken from me while I've been sitting here on this island. Your strategy has lost us dawn, the Iron Islands, and the Reach. If I have underestimated our enemies... Our enemies! Your family, you mean. Perhaps you don't want to hurt them after all. I have three large dragons. I'm going to fly into the Red Key. We've discussed this. My enemies are in the Red Key. What do you think I should do? I would never I'm losing. The people who follow you know that you made something impossible happen. Maybe that helps them believe that you can make other impossible things happen. Build a world that's different from the shit one they've always known. Oh my god! Coming up on part two of Game of Thrones. 
don't want to miss this shit. Roy's about to die. Roy's about to die. Roy's about to die. Little big man, what the fuck you doing? Put on crap, man. He keeps his habit back in the joint, now he's got